born of destruction, of insatiable blood loss. We are his savagery incarnate. The epitome of brutality. Rewarded for our ferocity. Join our relentless hunt. Enact the wrath of the Blood God. Unleash your fury. Blood for the Blood God. Skulls for the Skull Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and I really hope this is the second video going live because, yeah, we're back with some more news. This time, of course, we've had the Corn trailer, which, yeah, pretty cool, we were all expecting this. This is the Skull for the Skull Thrones event, of course. And there's actually a few things to discuss. You might think, we've seen all this before, we already knew it was Scarbrand because of the leak. Yep, fair enough but there might be a little bit more. Let's watch over the trailer first, and then we'll start looking at other things too. The Lord of Rage. Born of destruction. Of insatiable blood. Okay, so we're starting off already, and we have a rather heavily armoured bloodletter, which isn't very common. Actually, it's not common whatsoever, and... Yeah, a lot of people are thinking this is an exalted bloodletter as a hero, but I don't know. Heavy armor, bloodletter, does this not say Skulltaker? I could be very wrong here, and he could very much be an exalted Herald of Corn, as there is a model from Forge World which had this look too. I don't know, it's just it could be anything. Both miniatures are there as reference, and both look rather different. So we're gonna have to wait and see. I wouldn't mind an Exalted Bloodletter, well, Exalted Herald, they're actually called, but I don't know. Another possible option would be Bloodmasters, which are a type of Herald of Corn. and if this is the case, as you can see in the miniature, which does look very much like this, this, I believe, was only released for Age of Sigmar, which means that this would be the first Age of Sigmar thing being brought in. Yes, we know that the Keeper of Secrets is, of course, taking the Age of Sigmar look, but this specifically is an Age of Sigmar character, so we're gonna have to wait and see, but it's very curious. We are his savagery incarnate. The epitome of brutality. Rewarded for the more I think of it and the more I look at it, this is definitely a bloodmaster, isn't it? This is the first Age of Sigma creature, demon, character, anything, really. I don't know, we're gonna have to wait and see until our guest Creative Assembly can provide some clarification, as I don't know, I don't recall seeing these before. Very, very curious but might bode very well for all the other chaotic factions. We're gonna have to wait and see. Our ferocity. Join our relentless hunt. Enact the wrath of the Blood God. Unleash your fury. Blood for the Blood God. Skulls for the Skull God. So there's not really too much to talk about in regards to the trailer, barring that really extreme curiosity. I've honestly not been able to stop thinking about this possible Bloodmaster since I've had early access to the trailer, and I tell you what, it just looks very possible now. I didn't think it was Scarbrand originally, as I said in the video, but it's just happening more and more. The emphasis on this obviously states that it's going to be some sort of character, either a hero or named character, 
And again, it just feels like it. It feels like it's going to be a Bloodmaster now. Creative Assembly did provide some screenshots which are pretty cool. The first one is a horde of Chaos Warriors and Chaos Demons charging to meet a Kizavite army. I'm assuming this is in a standard map from within the Realms of Chaos. Which I assume will quell any fears that we won't be going into the Realms of Chaos themselves because it does very much look like if we have standard battle maps we will go into them. Still don't know how Creative Assembly are going to successfully do that without it sounding too cheesy, but we'll have to wait and see. Next we have a rather cool shot of the Brass Citadel and of course the Realm of Corn. This is stuff that we've already seen before because of course, you know, YouTubers such as myself played this special event and used this footage constantly, but it's still welcome to have a rather nice and clear screenshot of everything. Everything looks pretty cool and it just makes me want to see the stuff for Zinch, Sanesh, and Nurgle. Though, considering that this is the Korn trailer without the full faction reveal, of course, this is of course a good thing, as I'm assuming we'll be moving on soon. Well, I'm assuming after the DLC, because, well, DLC does take precedence because it's the current thing. And lastly, we have a shot of Scarbrand leading some armies. There's obviously not too much point discussing Scarbrand because, well, the leak kind of ruined that, but we will have a lore video dedicated into him soon, but there's a few things to talk about. Firstly, the Furies near Scarbrand, they've got flaming wings. Well, the tip of the wings, but you can see that the others don't, and I'll be very honest with you, I don't remember those Furies always having that effect. I've looked back through my footage of playing the game myself, and I didn't see any Furies like that, so I'm assuming that we will have Exalted Furies. Perhaps every demon will have an exalted version, which I guess kind of makes sense, but it sounds like it's just kind of filling out the roster with stuff that we've already seen, unless it's based on some form of unit upgrades. I don't know, we're gonna have to wait and see of course, but it just sounds like it's a lot of the same. Something that stood out to me was the fact that there's two gore beasts without a chariot, though that could be linked to a phasing issue. As you'll notice very close to it, there is a skull cannon of corn, which we can only see the wing and the cannon, nothing like the back of it at all. Though I wouldn't be so opposed to having proper gore beast units with Korn, it just makes very very much sense with him. Unless I'm losing my mind, I honestly don't think that we have gore beasts for like the Warriors of Chaos right now, do we? We have them with chariots, but I don't think they're just single entities. But we finally had a proper look at Korn and not just Korn and Kislev. So I'm honestly quite hyped about this. I like Scarbrand as a character, I really do. I think he's got an awesome model in the tabletop and he's very well represented here. What do you guys think about the corn release? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's start a bit of a discussion. And what are you hoping to see next? I'm really hoping we can see Slanesh because I've been waiting for Slanesh for five years now. I don't want to wait any longer. But with that, my friends, we've come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like, or even subscribing to the channel, as it really does help us out. In the description section below are various links to different social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Discord. Also in the description section is an affiliate link with Element Games, where you could buy loads of hobby-based products, not just Warhammer, for 10-25% to off. Making a purchase using that link and also our special code, which is also in the description, supports the channel at no extra cost to you, which we think is rather cool. A big thank you to our patrons, your support means the world to us, it's amazing that people want to help a small channel like us grow and get to our higher level of content. A big thank you to Gibraltar LUSC, Ryan Birch, Andrew Prince and Okro for subscribing to us at our fame level, you guys are super cool. And a big thank you to Edward Yule, VS Fasan, Aaron Whitman and Shaggy for subscribing to us at our king level, honestly we can't thank you all enough. And lastly, a big thank you to all of you for liking, sharing and commenting on these videos. Honestly, it's because of you guys that the channel has been growing at such a great pace lately, so we can't thank you all enough. But with that my friends, thank you so much for watching once again, and we shall see you all again very very soon. Have a good day.